Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 225. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs, and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IDPS, etc. I'm Ritwisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following is not correctly matched? All of them are correctly matched. International Migrants Day is observed on 18 December in accordance with Resolution 5593 of the United Nations General Assembly, adopted on 4 December 2000. The International Volunteer Day for Economic and Social Development, more commonly referred to as International Volunteer Day, is an international observance mandated by the UN General Assembly in 1985. The International Day of Older Persons is observed on October 1st each year. On December 14, 1990, the United Nations General Assembly voted to establish October 1st as the International Day of the Older Persons as recorded in Resolution 45106. The holiday was observed for the first time in 1991. Which of the following is not correctly matched? So we are matching largest producer to states. So brown nut to Gujarat is correct. Sugarcane to Uttar Pradesh is also correct. Jute to West Bengal is also correct. However, Wheat to Punjab is not correct. Maximum quantity of wheat is in fact produced by Uttar Pradesh, followed by Punjab and Haryana. Together, they grow 80% of the wheat of India. What is Indian Rubasta? It is actually a variety of coffee and it is exported from India. Indian Rubasta is a variety of coffee that constitutes about 65% of India's coffee output. Another majority that we produce is Arabica. India produces about 4% of the world's coffee but exports 70-80%. to 80%. Indian Rubasta has its own niche in the world coffee market. Which among the following are called Bretton Woods Twins? Correct answer is IBRD and IMF. The Bretton Woods Twins refers to the two multilateral organizations created at the Bretton Woods Conference in 1944. They are the World Bank's IBRD and International Monetary Fund. Which among the following schemes is for distressed women? Correct answer is Swadhar. The Swadhar scheme was launched by the Union Ministry of Women and Child Development in 2002 for rehabilitation of women in difficult circumstances. It provides shelter, food, clothing, etc. to marginalized women. Uh, the beneficiaries include widows deserted by their family and relatives, women prisoners released from jail and without family support, survivors of natural disasters, victims of terrorism, etc. Usually, the implementing agencies are NGOs. In which of the following World Trade Organization ministerial conferences, India formed a core group on non-agricultural market access, or NAMA, with other developing countries such as Argentina, Brazil, Indonesia, South Africa, Philippines, etc. Correct answer is Doha. So, NAMA was established in Doha Convention in 2001. Which among the following term is used for coexistence of inflation and stagnation? Correct answer is stagflation. Stagflation is a condition of slow economic growth and relatively high unemployment or economic stagnation accompanied by rising prices or inflation. It can also be defined as inflation and a decline in gross domestic product. Which among the following statements is not correct? Among the given options, the incorrect option is A, which states Kalinka Award is a peace award conferred annually by UNESCO. As a matter of fact, Kalinga Prize for, is for popularization of science. It is an award that is given by the UNESCO for exceptional skill in presenting scientific ideas to lay people. It was created in 1952 following a donation from Biju Patnayak who is the founder-president of the Kalinga Foundation Trust in India. Which among the following is not correctly matched? So, option A, Rasila to Gujarat is correct. BT to Andhra Pradesh is also correct. These are all uh, art forms. Krishnavartham is to Kerala. Videsiya is, however, to, uh, to Bihar and not to Uttaranchal. So, the incorrect option is Videsiya to Uttaranchal. Videsiya is a popular form of dance drama originated in the 20th century folk theatre and prevalent in the Bhojpuri speaking region of Bihar. Which among the following statements is not correct? All of these statements are correct. NABAD or National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development is an apex development financial institution in India 
which is headquartered in Mumbai with regional offices all over India. National Housing Bank or NHB is a wholly owned subsidiary of Reserve Bank of India and was set up on 9 July 1988 under the National Housing Bank Act 1987. It is an apex financial institution for housing. Export Import Bank of India or EXIM is a finance institution in India. It was established in 1982 under the EXIM Act 1981. Since its inception, Exim Bank of India has been both a catalyst and a key player in the promotion of cross-border trade and investment. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.